Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at how to reset a Chromebox for Meetings device so we can use it in consumer mode or enroll it into an admin console without a Chromebox for Meetings license. Now with any of these Chromebox for Meetings devices, if you update them past Chrome 90 and ever reset it, you'll be immediately prompted to enterprise enroll that Chromebox. And if you don't have a Chromebox for Meetings license in that admin console, uh, you'll basically be prompted with an enrollment error. Now, you used to be able to disable Chromebox for Meetings mode by pressing Control-Alt-Shift-H or Control-Shift-H or Control-Alt-H or combo of those, but basically after Chrome version 90, that does not work anymore. Now, there's also that button in the bottom left corner that said Use as a Personal Device, but once again, after Chrome version 90, that doesn't work anymore. So instead, we're going to permanently disable Chromebox for Meetings mode. On the side of your Chromebox, in this case the CN65, we're going to locate the recovery button and go ahead and press it with a paperclip. Now while we hold that paperclip down, we're going to remove power from the Chromebox and reapply power once again while holding the paperclip the entire time. When it comes back up, it's going to prompt us to insert a recovery image. Instead, we're going to press Control D on the keyboard to enter developer mode. It'll once again prompt us to hit that recovery button, so go ahead and use the paperclip again to hit the recovery button on the Chromebox. So after you press the recovery button the second time, the device will automatically reboot and tell you OS verification is off. Go ahead and press Control D again to enter developer mode. Now this process will take a couple minutes, so go ahead and occupy yourself for a little while while it finishes. Once developer mode is enabled, the device will reboot once again, and we're going to press Control D again to enter developer mode. The device will now boot into developer mode. Immediately, once we get to the login screen, we're going to press Control Alt F2 on the keyboard, which is going to open a virtual terminal. Go ahead and just type root to log in, and I'm going to clear the screen just so we have some more room to work with. So the utility we're going to be using is the VPD utility, which VPD stands for Vital Product Data. And this is a section of the firmware that important information like serial numbers, MAC addresses, uh, GUIDs, and other OEM information is stored. So to show you how the VPD utility works, first we're going to use the dash I option and select the read-only VPD partition by typing RO underscore VPD and then use the dash L option to dump all of the key value pairs inside of that partition. So you can see the read-only VPD is where the MAC address, serial number, and the device secret is stored. Now, that device secret is also what identifies the device to Google servers. So if you ever wanted to remove a device from enterprise enrollment, you could change this uh, device secret. But that's a video for another day because you do have to remove the firmware write protect screw to change that. Instead, we're going to be working on the read write section of the VPD. So we're going to change to the RW underscore VPD partition and go ahead and dump all those key value pairs. So what we care about in the read write VPD partition is going to be the OEM device requisition key value pair. So this is what the OEM device manufacturer can set at the factory to basically uh, tell Chrome that this is a Chromebox for Meetings device and not just a standard Chromebox. So we're going to add the dash S option. Go ahead and specify the OEM underscore device underscore requisition key. And we're going to set that value to none, which is once again going to tell Chrome that this is just a normal Chromebox. We can go ahead and dump the read write VPD partition again just to make sure that our change did in fact take place, and then we can go ahead and just reboot the Chromebox. So this time we're going to turn OS verification back on by hitting space and then the enter key. So after turning OS verification back on, the device will transition back to verified mode, reboot one more time, and the device is now in consumer mode, so you can log in with a Gmail account or enroll it into another admin console. And that's about it. The device is now out of Chromebox for Meetings mode permanently, and you can use it however you want. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them.